indeed second place in the St. Louis Rapid and Blitz. Second place, tie for second here. Fabi, I know you play to win tournaments, not to come in second, but you've had a great summer so far. Yeah, I, I mean, I feel dis a bit disappointed at the moment, but uh, but I guess overall, okay, it was a bit up and down, but the tournament had some bright moments, so that's a good one. Uh, your thoughts about uh, the the tour itself? You had a, a couple of results earlier that you might have wanted to get back a little bit more. Yeah, I, I started very badly. Um, I, I really pretty much doomed myself with the with the tournaments in Bucharest and Paris. Uh, I mean, I, I already was like basically writing the tour off. <laughs> Somehow I still had some chance at, at a placement. Uh, um, if I had, you know, had a little bit uh, of a better result in this tournament and I had my chances to, to do that, um, then I, I would have gotten third place, I guess, <clears throat> which is not, um, I mean, it's not like it's a spectacular result or anything, but uh, but it would have been a nice consolation. Your thoughts about how Maxime performed in this event? Yeah, Maxime played great. I mean, it was also impressive how he uh, bounced back. He had that tough game against Lanier. Um, uh, I mean, a, a, a great game by by all by all means. Uh, Lanier played an amazing game, um, but uh, it must have been tough for Maxime, and uh, and he took it in stride. I mean, after that, he uh, did he score plus two after that. Is that in any case, he he uh, he played extremely well throughout. Uh, he won a lot of games, so so kudos to him. What about Wesley's performance? He was a solid plus two enough to win him the Grand Chester title. Yeah, he he was all around um, very solid and stable, and uh, he won Paris convincingly. So so well deserved uh, victory for him. Uh, what's next for you? Upcoming next couple of events. I think there's a. Uh, the, I, I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's Chess going to be... Chess 9 LX? Chess 9 LX, yeah, the, the Fisher Random uh, tournament. Um, that's coming up. That's going to be my next event, and then the U.S. Championship after that, um, which will be exciting. I, I didn't have a chance to play the, the U.S. Championship, which was held online last year. Um, and so it's been two years since I played the U.S. Championship, and that now will be in person, which is, uh, which is even more fun. You, th that's an important tournament for you. I mean, you won it once. Seemed like you won it the first time you played, but you haven't won one since. It's it's, it's a tough championship to win. Yeah, it's tough. Uh, I had some subpar results, and then I had one in 2018. I thought I played a, pretty much a great tournament, but then Sam <laughs> ran away with it. Uh, I think I was plus five, and it wasn't enough. Um, so uh, so yeah, I'm I'm hoping to to make a mark this time. And final question: Your thoughts about the brilliancy prize? For this tournament, that that game that you won, would it be among the question is would it be among your your best games in your career if you had to do a best games book? No, no. that's the wrong answer. Oh. That was a trick question. <laughs> that, did you not get any He's malice an from that guy. question? He's an honest guy. <laughs> I mean, no, I, <laughs> you see that? That's why we love and respect Fabi, and uh, yeah, exactly. And no, that's why I, I picked you to win the tournament as well. See, he has. Your guy has no kind of loyalty. Let's, uh, excuse me, who cool. won the tournament? Can we get those predictions up anytime soon? You see this? You see this? You got to talk to this guy. No, no, I, I have to be. Uh, I have to be straight up on this one. It was. It was a satisfying game, but it wasn't uh, close to one of my best. Um, okay. Uh, but I did tell you that it would be my best chance at the brilliancy prize. <laughs> yeah, wasn't wrong about that. Was it the first round? <laughs> wow. All right. Well. Thanks so much for joining us, and uh, good luck with the Chess Nine Alex. Thank you. Quick, quick question for you, Fabi. The, this, uh, today's game, it was rather a controlled affair. I might even say kind of a dull affair until the position rather exploded. Uh, uh, after the move F7, F5 by yourself, your opponent played the move C5, D5, and the position really kind of blew up from here. Exciting things happened. Tough, 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 big fight, draw in the end. Uh, take us through your mindset. What was going through your mind at this point? Were you ambitious? Uh, yeah, I was, I was very ambitious. Um, I saw that if he doesn't play F4, then he's, he's basically getting uh, steamrolled with D4 and uh, E4 and everything coming to the center. So F4, unfortunately, uh, he has. But still, I thought that I have chances here. and. Um, 
And then I, I mean, I, om I felt like I was pretty much winning at some point. Like, winning. I know, I know that's not the case because uh, I was told after the game that there was nothing. But it's really very, very close to being tactically winning um, because he is. I mean, his king is so weak. Um, because, like, here I have nothing after rook d5. That was basically telling him. Uh, well, I mean, I had no time to really think. Uh, telling him, okay, you know, play rook fd3 and we'll make a draw soon. And then uh, Richard shocks me because he started to play for a win with h5, which is, I think, pretty much a crazy move. Uh, and, uh, like, this is, is borderline losing. It's, um, it's only holding because he has this rook one move. If rook f3, rook 1 f3, then queen e4 wins. Uh, I mean, I'm mating him and I have a pass d pawn, so uh, I think this wins. Maybe, maybe there's something. Uh, so rookie one only move, and the end game is also borderline losing. Um, so I even had uh, I, the reason I spent time here was because I have queen e one, queen d four, d two. So he has to play rook d five, or I promote. And it looks crazy, but I have the move rookie seven here, um, with a threat of d one queen, and then queen h four, rookie one, and queen d three, rookie four is winning. Uh, and he has, I think, only one move, which is which is queen g4. Unfortunately, not only does it uh, save the game, it might also win the game, so. Wow, wow. But yeah, I, I, I had a feeling that the end game was actually winning, but I was told that it wasn't. Nifty, nifty piece of calculation there, Fabi. Thank you for sharing your thoughts, and really I thought you played a great tournament and uh, found some nice form. Thank you. Well done. Yeah, congratulations, Fabi. Tied for second place in this event.